we have seen the effects of cancelling an invoice that has been already released to accounting. So what's going to happen if you don't release the invoice to accounting but you want to cancel the invoice? Now let's see how that happens. So here is an order. And here is a delivery. And here is an invoice. Delivery and an order. Say this is not released to accounting yet. It could be because you have explicitly placed a block here in the configuration or there is a pricing error or a tax error or a posting error because of which the invoice is not posted to accounts. So basically this invoice is open. Now can you cancel this invoice? First question. Can you cancel an open invoice or a billing document? And I mean open, it's not posted to accounts. The answer is yes. You can cancel an open invoice. So if you cancel an open invoice, what happens? So the effects of canceling an open invoice is much more simpler than the effects of canceling an invoice that has been posted to accounts. Because there's no posting to accounts here. There's no cancellation or there's no reversal of accounts here. So when you cancel this invoice, so you go to VF11, put this invoice number there and then cancel it. It will generate another invoice which is the type S1 or S2 and the only effect of this is it opens up the delivery rather for further processing. So you can go back to the delivery, reverse the PGI, so you can reverse the PGI post goods issue which will open the delivery. And then you can do picking again, you can do packing, you can do whatnot, or you can even delete the delivery if you are really not interested in it, which will again open up the orders line item and then you can go change it here. So you can track it all the way back to your order. So that's the effect of canceling an invoice that's not released to accounting yet.